so for critical thinking skills, um, to be honest, I can't really say that I think that they have changed that much. I like to think that I have pretty strong critical thinking skills already. Um, I mean, I'm entering my last year of formal education. I would have hoped that I've gained something along the way, but so I'm not sure if they've changed at all. But um, the course has, has definitely made me more aware of certain things, like psychologically, um, uh, and like reading one of the extra chapters, like the having to reproduce the um, studies and the research. I did not know anything about that. I thought that was very interesting, and I would have assumed that um, everything published has been fact-checked and has been checked and reproduced and made sure that it's correct and everything, because I make that assumptions about um, all other scientific like journal journals and articles. Um, so I'm definitely going to be more critical and aware about that kind of thing when um, looking at research. I guess I would say my critical, I would be more critical about um, the research and science, um, kind of looking more at the module one stuff. Um, statistical stuff and um, analyzing things because I'm sure I'm going to encounter a lot of research and articles and peer reviewing stuff um, in my career so I think I've gained a, a bit more skills in that. Um, what topics did I find the most and least interesting? I honest, I found the brain neuron module the least interesting um, not because it wasn't really interesting it's just because I learned all of that last quarter in my anatomy class, so it was kind of just an immediate repetition for me, so um, it wasn't new, so it wasn't as interesting. Um, and then I really enjoyed the module on the um, the conditioning, the operant and the classical conditioning. Um, I thought that was fascinating, and I could immediately see it in my life and watching people around me, so I liked that I could actually visually see that um, right around me right in the moment um, and as the second I started reading it I could think of a million instances that I knew was this. So it was interesting to see it um, from a more scientific point of, view, point of view and kind of seeing how we study that and how we kind of analyze that so I thought that was very interesting. Um, the most challenging part of this course for me was having assignments every day. Um, I know time management is important and I always need to plan for everything and I understand that. Um, it just was hard because I do have a full-time job with very little time left over. I don't come home until maybe five or six in the, at night. Um, so I have to eat and exercise and see my family and then I have to go to bed because I have to get up at 5.30 to go back to work at 7. Um, so it was a little tough getting some of the assignments done because um, of the time. So I would have preferred maybe a day or two break in between some of the assignments or kind of grouping together easier ones in one day so that I could get a break the next day. Um, and I understand I could have done stuff early, and I did do stuff early so I could give myself a break, um, which I enjoyed. I just thought that having assignments every single day was a bit much. I really did not have time to work as ahead as I would have liked, um, especially I went on vacation this past weekend and I had to sit and take tests and do an essay, and it was just um, more than I was really expecting. So. Um, I think that was the most challenging part for me. Um, that being said, I did think it was, it did keep it all fresh in my mind, so I did think about it every day, so I did enjoy that aspect of it. Um, so that was one benefit of having it every day. The videos, I I liked making the videos. It was not something I've ever done before. Um, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I didn't really know how any of that really worked. Um, and I feel that when I speak, I can better communicate thoughts and opinions on subjects. Um, and I think it did improve my oral presentation skills. I think I can articulate better and more clearly if I present what I'm trying to say. Um, it's Speaking out of camera is a little strange, especially when no one's around or if my family is around and they just give me weird looks. So it was something new for me, but um, I thought it was a beneficial aspect of the class. So I would definitely say it's a good thing. Um, for the rest of my summer, I will be working all day, all the time, um, and I need to get a jump start on my senior design project with my advisor. I'm kind of getting ready for senior year and looking towards the end of senior year and what I'm going to be doing then, so uh, not a lot of fun stuff, but um, that is what is in store for me.